space. I'm not sure how familiar you guys are with it. I know I've got a couple customers in here. Um, but this will be a very much educational um, presentation here. Um, it really helped to drive awareness uh, to what you guys are doing out on the field as you engage opportunities that call for e-procurement integrations. Uh, my name is Brady Berman. I'm the CEO here at Punch Out To Go. To my left is Ms. Carrie Kress, and she's our VP of Marketing and Strategic Partnerships, and uh, we really don't have enough titles for her, unfortunately. And they don't all fit on the business card, but hopefully you guys can help with printing business cards with you know, 500 characters of a, of a title. <laughs> um, we prepared a, a nice agenda here for you, for you all here. Um, first topic is going to be e-procurement market overview. Uh, and then what is Punch Out? Uh, introduction to, to who we are and how we serve. Uh, the Punch Out to Go for XMPI U Store solution. And then uh, Punch Out supplier best practices. Uh, so we're going to bounce around a little bit, but I'm going to hand the mic. Actually, you got your own mic. I got it. Now we're going to pass it over to Carrie now, and she will educate you guys. And I'll be back to give you a demo in just a moment. Thank you for, for joining us. Appreciate it. Thanks, Brady. So by a show of hands, um, does anyone understand what the word e-procurement means? All right. Does anyone know what a punch-out catalog is? By a show of hands. All right. So we have a few. So um, like Brady said, um, I'm going to take the first uh, portion of this um, session to kind of give education around what is e-procurement, why it's important, why you might be hearing about it and also cover um, what a punch-out catalog is. So we all know the B2B business-to-business -business market is growing. Um, there's been some market research um, out there that shows that by 2020, the B2B market's expected to be $6.7 trillion, um, which is twice the estimated market of the B, of the business-to-consumer market. Um, also from market research, we know that the e-procurement market is growing because procurement within these businesses are looking to, see, to seek um, control and visibility into how their employees are spending across their organization. Um, also supplier networks have involved much more from a transaction focused uh, solution more to a more collaborative network of suppliers. You, you hear preferred suppliers now and there's a lot of emphasis on um, supplier relationship management. Also, the pressures driving the B2B collaboration, um, they're not temporary. We know that there's increasing demand from customers, increasing demand from the supply chain, and with globalization. We also know that 50% of companies already use some type of e-procurement software. These are mainly large enterprise businesses, um, but what we have also seen is a significant shift moving into the mid-size, mid-market um, type of businesses. And 33% um, expect to begin implementing an e-procurement software um, within the next 18 to 24 months. So procurement challenges, um, a survey was completed of, of 500 uh, chief procurement officers of some large to mid-market businesses, and these were the top 10 challenges that kind of keep them up at night and, and makes them, um, you know, worry. And so a few of these that I want to point out was the number one challenge from procurement is supplier-related issues. So finding the right suppliers. Um, re and managing that relationship and then evaluating their performance. Uh, another one I want to point out is number three, reducing costs and achieving savings. Procurement, um, they're paid on, they're bonused out, right, on how much money that they save their company. Um, and their company is mandating um, that procurement lower those costs um, for their organization. And number four, accurate data. Um, the need to increase access to that accurate data um, with an increasing reliance on software and technology tools um, within the supply chain. And then number seven, those tools and technology. Finding the right tools and technology to support the procurement process and technology adoption. Just like in our personal life, everything is moving digital and automation, and that's the same way it is within the business world, right? So procurement is looking for those, those tools and that technology to help automate that procurement process. So many of these challenges for procurement is solved with e-procurement. So e-procurement 
it improves both the customer and supplier relationships and it strengthens business processes. So the, the accurate de definition of e-procurement, electronic procurement, is the combined use of electronic information and communication technology in order to enhance the links between a customer and a supplier and other value chain partners and thereby it improves external and internal business processes. E-procurement is a key component of e-business and e-commerce. And this was from the uh, Chartered Institute of Purchasing and Supply. So part of solving those challenges with e-procurement, um, these e-procurement technology providers have entered the market within the last 10 to 20 years. You, some of these um, might look familiar to you. SAP, Oracle, PeopleSoft. Um, you also have some other niche providers uh, that are smaller than that. Um, but these are a few of the, the popular ones uh, that, that we work with at Punch Out To Go. And within e-procurement technology, around that wheel right there, those are the value that that technology brings to procurement. So when the, the company um, institutes this procurement software, it's helping them automate that procure to pay process. It's helping them get visibility and to spend across their organization. It's helping them with contract compliance and driving spend to those preferred suppliers. Um, it helps achieve proper approvals on all orders, helps reduce that procurement cycle time, and also helps them um, enforce buying policies throughout their organization. Um, within these procurement tools, employees are mandated to use this tool in order to purchase for that company. They cannot just go out to a website and enter their credit card number. They're mandated to use this technology so that they're able to, procurement has visibility into all of that spend. Here's another look at some of the other uh, e-procurement providers that you may or may not come across. Um, like I said, some of them are kind of in a niche uh, space and, and will serve particular businesses. Uh, for example, some might serve the janitorial supplies area. Um, some are mainly focused in higher ed or K through 12. Um, some GHX, for example, is uh, really centered and focused on healthcare. Um, these are all the uh, uh, procurement systems that Punch Out To Go currently supports plus others. So benefits of e-procurement. Um, investing and doing business with e-procurement is it's a win for you and it's a win for your customer. Um, for your customers, they're going to receive an enhanced shopping experience. They're going to be able to streamline that order process, reduce those cycle times, um, lower their procurement costs, increase that order accuracy, and have invoicing automation. So it really automates that whole that whole procure to pay process. For you as a business, um, it's gonna help expand your sales reach. It's a new channel for you to, to gain new sales. Um, you're able to have product and avail uh, pricing availability within your catalog. Um, it's referred to customer stickiness. So once a, a business buyer purchases through this type of catalog, they're very unlikely to ever switch and, and try to you know, purchase from another route, from another channel. It does increase customer satisfaction and faster invoicing equals faster payment uh, for your side. So with that, um, I'm gonna move into a little bit more specific as to what is a Punch-Out catalog. Uh, Punch-Out begins with e-procurement. And as we all know, e-procurement, it's a, that web-based internal application for purchasing goods and services along with many other uh, things that it, that it helps with. Um, Users are able to browse online catalogs. They're able to add items to their shopping cart. And ultimately, they're able to submit a purchase requisition through that procurement system for approval. There are two types of online supplier catalogs within an e-procurement system. The first is called a punch-out catalog. And the second is called a hosted catalog. Sometimes it's also referred to as a SIFT, C-I-F catalog. Punch-out catalog is, um, allows the supplier to directly connect your e-commerce application to your customer's procurement system in order to offer the correct product and pricing. The process looks like the buyer would log into their procurement system. They would find your supplier logo on their marketplace. They would click that logo, and then from there, the buyer is authenticated 
into your website in order to view the correct product and pricing uh, for, for their business. The user would shop, add items to the cart, and transfer that cart back to the procurement system. They're not um, going through a normal checkout process like we do on a consumer side. They're transferring that cart back and that contents and that information. And then from there, the purchase order requisition is created and then it is routed through that procurement system for approval within that, that, or that company. From a hosted catalog, um, that is a static product list that supplies just the essential information for ordering products. Essentially, it's an Excel spreadsheet um, that you as a supplier would put together. You would load into your customer's procurement system and it only contains simple products. So it cannot um, include any kind of custom products. It would just be kind of the material number, quantity, um, and then maybe a link of an image, for example. Um, and buyers shop and search uh, within their marketplace for all hosted catalogs across the organization from suppliers. So punch out catalogs versus hosted catalogs. Um, benefits from a, from a punch out side um, you as a supplier would manage that content, so you're able to, to drive what that user experience for your customer, um, allowing them to connect to your e-commerce store. You can upsell, cross-sell products, make product recommendations, um, really present the product offering in the way that you want it presented. Um, content and pricing are dynamic and real-time, so if you were, for example, to launch a new product, um, that could be visible um, in real-time. Uh, allows for ability to order configurable products um, since they are on your website. And then there's, uh, like I said, other special features such as upselling, you could do promotions, marketing, uh, for example. The limits, however, for a punch out catalog is that with the experience for the buyer, the user experience, it's going to be different because the experience that you're going to have within your e-commerce site is different than, for example, if they were to go into Staples um, punch out site or Home Depot or whoever their other punch out suppliers are within their marketplace. From a hosted catalog uh, perspective, the benefits is it's a one-stop shop for buyers. They're in the marketplace, they're searching for a simple product, they're able to have that and it's a consistent experience. Uh, for limits, uh, the content and pricing are static. Um, new products are not uh, available. Um, until you as a supplier would load that content up into that procurement system. Um, the buyer must approve your catalog, so that's work additional for, for on your buyer side. They have to go through, make sure that the contract pricing that you have in place is, is correct and the product offering that you've agreed to is correct. Um, so from a, uh, as a business com commerce standpoint, it's really kind of a, a revel, uh, an enablement to trans, transformation. Um, it's an evolutionary process, right? So many of the prospects that come to us at Punch Out to Go, they have been approached by a buyer and said, I need a Punch Out catalog. And so they're trying to comply with that first request or they are trying to answer an RFP or a, a, a bid request and it's part of the requirements within that request. So first they're trying to comply with that. And then um, you know, a few months later, then they might get another one and another one, and then it really transforms. So we've um, worked with suppliers that are working on their first request all the way to those um, that have you know, 150 different type of punch out catalogs and are really then driving and, and collaborating and, and being very innovative. So some of the challenges that the suppliers face are that they're, they're pressured by your buyer to, to make that investment. They're trying to win that business um, by providing this type of technology, and if you're not able to provide this business, you're at, at risk of, of losing that business, of that customer, or you miss additional sales opportunities by not providing this type of technology. However many suppliers they are at the elementary stage of understanding e-procurement and what Punch-Out is, and don't have the resources internally to be able to manage it. It's viewed as very tactical, very reactive, like the slide before, you're trying just to comply with that request. 
and many don't understand how, how will e-procurement affect your business? Is this a good channel for you to invest in, um, invest resources in, train your sales team on, et cetera? And then once you figure out that business process, there's also other challenges like how do you then connect and, and integrate? There's multiple trading partner demands. Each of your buyers is going to have a different requirement or they might have a different system which has different protocols. So for example, SAP Ariba uses one protocol and then Oracle uses a different protocol. So how do you, how do you understand that and how do you have the resources to comply with that? Um, how do you leverage your existing e-commerce infrastructure in order to accommodate your buyer's needs? Um, what catalog and content management decisions? How do you know what correct product offering to, to, um, to make on display? Um, and then just internal change management of getting everyone educated on this channel and, and why it's important. So integrating with e-procurement buyers is, is also a challenge. Um, like I said, you're gonna have to you know, take your, understand how your current infrastructure, e-commerce infrastructure is going to integrate. How do you integrate with each of those various systems? How do you integrate with Ariba and Oracle? And that's just for a punch out process. And then you have electronic ordering and invoicing as well and connecting that to your ERP system or to your e-commerce system. So it can be very complex and um, that's why Punch Out To Go is here, to help with that complexity and help solve some of those issues. So with that, I'm gonna turn it over to Brady, who's going to give you an overview of Punch Out To Go and then walk you through a demo as well of how it works. Great job, Kay. Uh, so hopefully this has kind of been enlightening to you. There obviously is a lot of complexity around these types of integrations, but it is a very, very lucrative channel. It's a channel that you definitely want to pay attention to because it's going to come up time and time and time again. Bob could uh, probably agree to that, I believe. <clears throat> well, once you do have this type of integration, uh, you will realize many different benefits. <clears throat> um, so I started Punch Out to Go in late 2011. Uh, we're headquartered in Charlottesville, Virginia. Our brand is making punch out and other e-procurement processes simple. Um, we really have become the standard within the space. Uh, we work with organizations of all sizes all around the globe, and we do reduce the cost and complexity of integrating punch out and other e-procurement processes. Companies choose punch out to go for a lot of reasons. Carrie's really smart, that's one of the reasons. Uh, but we really do put customers first. We want you guys to be successful. Um, and in fact, we've never lost a customer. Not many companies can say that. And that's something that we hold you know, dear to our hearts because we go through and, and go through the due diligence to ensure that you as a supplier are meeting the requirements of your customers to keep your customers happy. Your customers happy makes you happy, makes us happy, everybody's happy. Now, we offer the only true punch out gateway on the planet that helps organizations leverage their own infrastructure we're in this conversation is XMPI U Store. Uh, we offer tools that provide real-time visibility into every movement going to and from the systems, which is massively important. We did our first punch-out integration over a decade ago, and it was brutal. We were reliant on others to tell us what was wrong, what was going on. And be, by being reliant on others, we were waiting for logs, we were waiting for this. It was a long and daunting process, and we realized there needed to be an easier way. So we developed Punch Out To Go as that adaptable gateway that can be leveraged by so many different ways, whether it's web services or Igor's powers from XMPy. Um, but we have 100% Punch Out compatibility, order automation compatibility. Uh, we've connected to over 90 different named e-procurement systems in 39 countries. Um, the reason I say named is because there's a lot of homegrown applications as well, kind of bespoke applications that the government may use or different organizations may use. Um, but we've never uh, not been able to make an integration. So we have 100% satisfaction and 100% customer retention, 100% uh, connectivity. Um, our solutions are very, very broad. Uh, we're, we are not an e-commerce provider. Uh, we are, again, in the business of helping you leverage your own infrastructure, whatever that may be. Our relationship with XMPI and Ustore allows you to use the Ustore infrastructure to connect the mission-critical dots with your customers 
on any of those different procurement systems out there that we talked about earlier. Um, you, you see a couple of different logos here and different platforms. Um, we work a lot in a lot of different verticals, a lot of different spaces, um, and all these different organizations find value in leveraging our technology uh, to connect these dots. And then or obviously orders and invoices and all the other documents that may be needed to electronically communicate with your customers. <coughs> uh, systems, you saw this earlier, uh, GHX, again, big in healthcare. Uh, Jagger is actually, uh, was formerly called SideQuest. Um, you guys have, may have heard of SideQuest. They were uh, really big in higher education. So if you had customers at universities and such, they were probably using SideQuest, uh, but they are now called Jagger, right? Yeah, Jagger. Um, but then there's many of them out there as well uh, in different markets. Over a decade ago, when we first did our first punch out integration, it was just Ariba and SAP and Oracle and PeopleSoft. And we're starting to see so many new platforms out there. <coughs> Excuse me. And we are often the first to connect to these different platforms. They generally will lean on us to make sure that they have a solution as well that will work with the core of the vendors out there that they need to connect to. Uh, so we're generally the first to connect to, to new e-procurement systems. Uh, these, the mid-market sector, as Kerry uh, mentioned, is growing rapidly. Coupa has really dominated the mid-market. Uh, but there's other players out there as well for either even small mom-and-pop type of companies uh, that want to get a better grip on their spend, right? B a better, better control of those things. Um, so prior to Punch Out to Go, organizations that are doing integrations, they're all bespoke, right? So if you have a customer at Ariba, for instance, and then two months later you have another customer at Ariba, chances are there's going to be variating factors on those integrations. Uh, it makes for a non-scalable solution. It makes for disaster. Uh, with Punch Out to Go sitting between uh, your infrastructure and your customers' infrastructures, it's really a harmonized layer between us and you, right? You as a vendor, when I say you. Um, and then our application, or that guy that's walking in now, that guy makes it happen, uh, our application actually deals with all the variating factors from system to system. Variating factors might consist of document protocols, whether it's CXML, OCI. You guys might want to make a note of that because you you might come across CXML, OCI, you probably have heard of and know of EDI. There's all types of different document protocols and standards that are used within the space, um, but our applications deal with all the variating factors. Um, on a high level, the, the way that it works, and I'm going to show you here in just a moment, is that the ultimately the, the end user is logged into their procurement system, and they identify that they need to buy uh, business cards, right? And they want to buy them from DS Graphics or whomever. Right, if DS Graphics is their preferred vendor, DS Graphics logo may appear in their marketplace. With a single click, they're authenticated from their e-procurement system into the e to the U store, right, to the XMPI store. And that authentication is key, obviously, and that authentication helps the vendor, the DS Graphics in this example, recognize that customer to give them the correct offering and pricing. Right, you may have different business units even within a single organization that get a different offering. So there's a lot of complexities, but ultimately user authenticated from the system into the e-commerce application, shops, configures their products. When they get to the checkout, they're actually not going to proceed through a normal checkout. They're instead going to be transferring that shopping cart back over to the procurement system to route for approvals or depending on the rules that they have in place on their organization, they might just submit it there and that'll actually post the purchase order to you back into you store to complete the order. Uh, so let me give you a little demo here. One sec. All right. So I mentioned Coupa, and uh, they're on Amazon. So sometime it slows up, and it'll, it'll speed up. Uh, so this is just kind of nuts and bolts of, of what a procurement system may look like. So companies that use Coupa, for instance, or like Salesforce, Capital One, uh, Indeed, all types of organizations, Tesla, um, are using Coupa, but they and they use it in a lot of different ways. Um, so Coupa, you know, it handles obviously expenses and requests and orders and invoicing, sourcing. It's kind of like the entire life cycle uh, for vendors. Everything is managed through their e-procurement system. Coupa is not an ERP. Uh, a lot of these organizations, like a Tesla, for instance, they may use SAP as their ERP, but then they bolt on Coupa as their supplier relationship manager, right? So it provides a much more en enhanced experience for their users, and it becomes more of a, 
a bolt-on to their ERP that, that may have lots of limitations. Um, so we're logged into Coupa, and we have our Presto Cup um, store here loaded up. And again, on, on a click, we're going to be authenticated into the e-commerce site. Uh, well, Punch Out to Go sits completely behind the scenes. The user, again, is kind of transferring you know, data through our application into your store. They're authenticated. Your store is going to know who they are, and we can come in here and shop for whatever we want. We'll get some business cards. Be in Jersey, I think that's good. But it gives them a real-time view, obviously, of the configurations. You guys know how this works. Uh, but it's very important. So when Carrie was talking a little, a little bit ago about hosted catalogs, there may have been scenarios where you guys may be doing this already and not really knowing it, where your customer says, can you send me a spreadsheet of all the products we're purchasing from you? And they may be building their own hosted catalog. But it doesn't provide them any type of real proof. It creates more steps in the process. Uh, so enabling your use store, uh, the experience, allows the user to punch out, build their stuff, now, again, we're, we're receiving data, now, which is great in this type of scenario. In our little test world, our name is just punch out user, so there's not a lot of data there. But in fact, my name might already be automatically populated because of the data that came over. The store recognized who we are. We're logged in so it can reflect it. Obviously, I can come in here and change it and do whatever I want. And I can refresh my, uh, re my preview. And we have a real time uh, visibility here of, of everything, right? So. Add a cart. So again, when we get to the shopping cart, we can continue shopping. We can purchase letterhead. We can do whatever we want. Uh, but ultimately, we are not going to proceed through a normal checkout. We are instead going to transfer that shopping cart back over to our procurement system. Because, for instance, my order is over $1,000, I may have a, an approver above me on the Tesla side, on the buying organization side, that actually has to approve it. So uh, procurement obviously solves tons of challenges. As Carrie mentioned, she's going to talk about some more here in a moment. Uh, but I kind of felt like this would probably be a good, good way to show you how it works, right? So Punch Out to Go again is just a transparent layer between you and any of your customers in any procurement system. User is authenticated from one one application into your application. They, they add items to their cart, configure the products, transfer the shopping cart back over the procurement system, route for approvals. Once that order is approved, that's when a purchase order gets dispatched. You'll notice it just says employee business card up here. But what's really great about the fact that we sit in between is because we, we can house all types of extra data that a procurement system may not be able to accept. So when the purchase order comes back through the systems, we can marry it up with the originating cart transfer to send it back into the use store so you have the complete order and everything is perfect the way that the end user has, has built those particular products. All right, let's see where we are now. So I don't think I need to go over the demo. I think I need to pass it back to you now, Carrie. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah, so now Carrie's going to talk a little bit about uh, best practices. And this is very important for you guys to be successful and help train your sales force. And I uh, appreciate your time and pass it back to Carrie. Thank you. So some of uh, some best practices. Um, so I talked a lot about you know overcoming challenges. You now know what a punch out catalog is. You know what e procurement is. So now what? Right? How do you overcome some of these challenges? Um, really, you need to uncover how do your customers prefer to purchase products. Do you know? Do you know how every customer likes to prefer you know purchase products from you? Um, and develop the business case to to meet that customer need. Educate decision makers within your organization um, why your customers like to purchase this way and, um, and about the e-procurement channel, why it's important. Uh, obtain executive leadership alignment and budget to support the initiative. Uh, develop e-procurement channel strategy and business processes around to, to support this type of channel. Ed um, understand and evaluate what are your current technology gaps. Um, and then another option is partner with punch out to go to help implement that, that punch out catalog and those e-procurement processes um, to be able to improve your presence within the e-procurement channel. 
And then once you, once you have the technology, you have that in place, how, how do you grow it? How do you get your return on investment uh, for all this work that you're putting into it? Really, you need to educate educate and train your customer facing resources on the importance of the channel and um, your organization's B2B capabilities. They're going to be out there talking to customers and procurement. Um, they need to be educated on, on what it is and, and why, why it's important to the business and to them. Develop KPIs to measure that success, uh, execute on a channel strategy. Uh, focus those customer facing resources specifically on growing sales within that channel and market your punch out capabilities um, and your B2B automation ca capabilities to those target customers. Identifying the opportunity, these are some sample questions. Um, in, in my past um, professional experience, I worked um, as a supplier managing a channel strategy for a large healthcare corporation. And in my experience, I found um, if we would just go ask procurement how they like to purchase, if they had an e-procurement system, can we connect? Answer typically was yes, right? So there's some questions here that your sales team or customer facing resources might be able to ask procurement um, to be able to uncover if there is an opportunity to do business through that channel. You know, ask them what platform, do they use a platform? What platform is that? How do they, how do they utilize that? Um, what are the various formats? Ask about B2B order automation. Do they prefer to receive pur uh, purchase orders electronically? Do they prefer to receive invoices electronically and kind of understand where they are, they are at uh, currently? And then also there's this, um, we've, we've seen this real shift to a strategic uh, preferred vendor model within procurement. Many of them have selected these preferred vendors, um, and to have that preferred vendor status on an e-marketplace, on an e-procurement marketplace, um, gives you much more visibility. Within many of these procurement systems, there are some tags or flags, or they can mark you as a vendor. So when their users come and search, you are popped up more in that search box as a preferred supplier and users are, are driven there um, to purchase from you rather than another vendor that might be in the similar, um, have a similar offering. So overall benefits for you for, uh, as a supplier for this channel, um, you're gonna find buyers ready to purchase. Anyone that goes into an e-procurement system is not out there just you know, shopping around. Um, I mean, they're actually out there to purchase. They, they know that they want something, they're going to the e-procurement system, they're going to find it, and likely they're going to transfer that and purchase that product. So that's gonna help um, grow your existing accounts. It's gonna give you growth of new business. There might be some new users um, that you're not aware of that might be purchasing, and gives you the ability to opt, sell, and cross-sell. It's gonna help accelerate your sales cycle. Uh, typically, there's faster deal closure. Uh, it's increased order accuracy with Punch-Out, and there's faster order processing. It's gonna improve your customer retention. Like I said before, this is a, a sticky channel, right? So it establishes that common buying behavior um, and you're easy to do business with, so you're gonna get that repeat business. And then it's gonna help lower your cost to serve. Um, as we streamline and automate processes, that's going to have resources on your side, less um, involved in doing all those manual touch points or fixing errors of a manual order that was put in and a number was keyed wrong. Um, so it's really gonna help reduce those errors and, and accelerate that. And then these are just some of the real um, results um, that have been reported from some of the suppliers out there that uh, kind of lead the space with as a punch out supplier. Um, for example, B&H Photo, many of you have probably heard about them with one of their accounts. They grew their account 300% by just implementing a punch out catalog. They were previously a hosted catalog, they turned it to a punch out catalog and they grew it. Um, you see Masumi uh, had 32% sales growth in all of their integrated accounts. Um, from my experience, I have always heard in talking to other suppliers or buyers, it's typically double digit sales growth once you move to a, a punch out catalog. There's not a lot of benchmarks or market research out there um, that, that companies want to report on, but my experience has been it's always been at least 10, 
or higher. Um, sometimes we've had a few customers, clients that punch out to go, that's, it's been a thousand percent growth. So, um, Improving customer retention, um, oh, Millipore, 75 percent growth within four of their major accounts and 40 percent overall growth overall. Um, so these are some pretty oppressive uh, sales numbers and um, KPIs. So with that, I will open it up. Does anyone have any questions um, regarding e-procurement, what Punch-Out is, about Punch-Out to go? Yes. Pricing model? Do you want to change? Take that. So um, overall, for our high-level overview for pricing, there's a one-time implementation fee um, to connect to the Punch-Out-To-Go gateway, and then there is a one-time integration per buyer, so per, uh, per, per organization. For example, so if you were to get, connect with like University or Duke University, um, that would be an integration charge, and then from there, it is a monthly maintenance and support fee. Uh, for that integration, because we handle the integration for you for the life of that relationship and support that for you. There is no transaction fee, right? We, um, you can have as many transactions as you want through our gateway. It's, it's not a transaction fee-based model. It's more of a SaaS-based model. You're welcome. Any other questions? Yes. 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 Yes, we do. We have integrations with over 40 uh, different e-commerce platforms out there. Like, like Brady said, we're not an e-commerce provider, right? And we want to help uh, companies leverage their own infrastructure. So we um, do package up uh, our our offering and um, have those for for majority of the e-commerce uh, platforms that are available in the market today. Any other questions? Yes. Yeah, so you're, so you're offering custom to your clients, and then it would be relevant if any of your clients are using this procurement system within their organization, right, in order to connect your e-commerce application, your custom, to their procurement system so their employees can purchase your... Absolutely. Um, yes, but I mean, still, even if you have your custom products, are universities buying those, or you know, hotels, or banks, et cetera? Um, because many of those types of businesses already have e-procurement systems in place, right? So that could be an opportunity for you to move into to those type of, of businesses. Additional questions? All right. So one more time. Does everyone know what e-procurement is by a show of hands? Does everyone know what is a punch-out catalog? Yeah? All right, great. All right, thank you all for your time today. Thank you.